Hello everybody. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. I am Amrita Kar. Will conduct today's mathematics class. And for this class, there will be two videos. This is video one. In this video, I will explain you the concepts of long and short. So, let me bring few objects for you. These objects will help you to understand the concepts of long and short. Now, we will learn long and short. You can see long, you can see a long line here. So long and short, basically they are decided on the basis of the length. You can see the length here. You can easily see the length. Look at this. This is a long line, right? Now, look at this. This is a short line. So, on the basis of the length, long and short, these two terms are used. Let us see few objects. We will place them. The long things will come under long and the short things will come here. Okay? Now, let us first see. Look at these two brushes. Which one is long and which one is short? This is long. So, I will keep it next to long and now this is short so I will keep next to short now let us see these two keys this is a long key and this is a short key so where will long key go here no the long key will come here and the short key Short is written over there. So, short key will go there. Now, let us see these two pieces of paper. Which one is long and which one is short? You can easily understand. This is long or short. Will this go there? Not at all. This is long. So, long will come here. And this is short. So, short will go there. Now, let us see these two spoons. Which one is long spoon and which one is short spoon? This is short spoon. Will it come here? Not at all. Here it is long. What is written over here? You can see L-O-N-G long. But this is a short spoon. Right? So short will go there. And this is a long spoon. So long will come here. These two wooden crayons. Which one is long and which one is short? Is this long? No. Is this long? Yes. Now tell me, where will the long one go? Which word is this? Is this long? Not at all. This is short. So who will go there? This wooden crayon will go there next to short. And here, this long wooden crayon will come here. Now, we have two more things. One is this pair of pencil. Now, tell me which one is long and which one is short. May I keep it here? Is this the right way? Do you think it will come here? This short one will come here? Not at all. Now, see. These two pencils. One is long and one is short. Which one is long? This one? No. See the length. You can easily understand. This is short. So short will go there. And this is long one. This will come here. Now we can see two scales. Now tell me. Which scale is long and which scale is short? Do you think this is short? Not at all. See the length. So long. This is short. Right? So in that case, where will this long scale go? There? No. Because the word short is written here. So, 
This long scale will come here where long is written. And this scale is short, short scale, right? So, this short scale will come here where short is written. Now, we will see the objects which we have put under the word short and under the word long. Now, you can see how we have categorized the long objects under the term long and the short objects under the term short. You can see here, you can see a long key and a short key. You can see a long wooden crayon and a short wooden crayon. You can see a long brush and a short brush. You can see a long strip of paper and a short strip of paper. You can see a long pencil and a short pencil. You can see a long spoon and a short spoon and you can see a long scale and a short scale. For your understanding, I will repeat it once more. Now I have paired the long object along with the short object and I will show you. Long spoon, short spoon. Long strip of paper, short strip of paper. Long wooden crayon, short wooden crayon. Short scale, long scale. Short brush, long brush. Short pencil, long pencil. Long key, short key. This is the end of video 1.